tuned in via telephone all the way from Crown Heights, Brooklyn, is a good friend of mine. He just released a brand new album, ladies and gentlemen. The album is taking the world by storm. It's entitled Bring the House Down. Please welcome Avram Freed. How are you? Shalom Aleichem. I enjoyed that song. Beautiful. Shalom Aleichem, Avram. Avram, it's good to have uh, you back. It's been a long time. Last time we spoke was uh, Yom Nairam time, the year that you released the Machaya. Mamish, uh, w- w- right when you came back from that, that uh, concert in Eretz Yisrael. Mm, so I guess we talk when I have a new CD out. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, <laughs> that's pretty sad. We should talk more often. But no, this be- is a good reason why we're talking. We're talking because of a new CD. 100%. That Mitz Hashem will bring simcha and uh, inspiration to Kalal Yisrael. So I'm excited and humbled and a lot of good feelings. Well, with a title like "Bring the House Down," I mean, I mean, obviously, we know you're not talking about, uh, you know, the geisha zachin or, or shaking the house or dancing. You're talking about Shlishi. Well, you know, about a year or two ago, during one of my tefillahs, uh, I think it was Mayriv. I'm davening Mayriv, and I finish Mona Esrei, mm-hmm. and I'm saying, "Shevonavis amigdash from head of Yemen." All of a sudden, it hit me. That means bring the house down. <laughs> That's exactly what it means. And then, of course, this is now we have the title track of the album. So it's sometimes during davening, I have these uh, weird um, inspirations. Yeah, well, that's that's what Phil is supposed to do. It's supposed to inspire you. Exactly, exactly. So, Ramel, 14 tracks, 14 uh, amazing tracks, which the world is just starting to uh, dip their hands into. I, I was lucky enough that uh, we got we got your master, we duplicated it at Universal, and I, I got a little bit of a peek so I can... Uh, sift through and come up with some good shilas and the good, questions for Remo. But um, good, good. But uh, Baruch Hashem. Well, really, really, it's really Yossi. If you want to be, uh, it's really thirteen tracks because Hinani Biyotcha was already released. So it's 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 really thirteen. But you know, I'm not I'm not stingy. I had good material, and I figured let's do it. People uh, are paying money. They're buying a CD. Let's give them fourteen tracks. Savas nisht. Why not? I'm not. Uh, you know. Not picky about that. No, I, 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 and I like that about you. You know, it doesn't have to be ten. Even if the download's going to be around ten dollars, and you're getting a, mm-hmm. a couple extra songs, big deal. It's, it's good to give the fans a little bit of something. I mean, that, that's that's what I believe. Yep. With songs like uh, Kapara playing with fire, Eitzer Shell, uh, Yer Shemayim, and, and and of course re- recalculate. You know, how could mm. you, how could you say, okay, I'm going to wait two years till I release right. this? Exactly. Exactly. Um, what can I tell you? I, I just it took took time. The album took time, but uh, you know I'm, I don't have any deadlines. Baruch Hashem, no one's at my head with a deadline. Right. So I waited till I got material that I felt was colorful, with the right messages, different styles, and, um, and here you are. Yeah, I got I got to tell you, Avram, I I don't want to delve on it too much, but. Uh... You you've had a little bit of a, of a year yourself, you know, uh, starting off with that uh, the concert in Eretz Yisrael, where where you know the, you had some uh, some issues with your voice to Hineni Biyadcha, you know, uh, being leaked out like that, uh, and of course that that uh, story that was on Yeshiva World about somebody who listens to your music and he's not Shimer Shabbos. You you've had a really really big year. <laughs> like I said, yes, it, this is all very humbling. You know what happened in Eretz Yisrael with my voice was very interesting experience but even that turned into a to a bracha how the crowd reacted so the end result was very beautiful and very inspiring uh the letter of course made made big waves mm-hmm. which i think was a tremendous um uh peek into people's nishamas but how they're struggling and, and and you know living with uh interesting dilemmas that they have to put up with right and um Hinnani Biyotcho being leaked, well, another good thing came out of that, which was a, a fellow who uh, wrote me that he knows that the song was leaked and he couldn't help but listen to it. But he just wants me to know that he was going through a very difficult um, challenge in his life mm-hmm. and how this song gave him the koyach to pull through and come out of this, this, this challenge. So you should know, he says, that it was it was for me that the song was leaked because it, it pulled me through my <laughs> my challenge. That's, that's a new, in that case, I, I'm Oichel, the guy who did it. That's <laughs> truly amazing. With us via telephone, all the way from Crown Heights, the one and only album free, discussing his brand new album, Bring the House Down. Avremo, I wanted to ask you a question. I, I actually got a letter last night when I mentioned on the air that you were going to come on. 
uh, from a member of Zaka, and he said that the song Hinni Biyotcha has something to do with you and and, and uh, a, a bus that 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 had a, an incident in Eretz Yisrael last year. A what? A bus? A bus? Yeah, there was some kind of a bus crash or something last year. He sent me a letter. Hmm. You don't know what I'm talking about. I'm um, not. No, I'm not. Doesn't doesn't ring a bell. No. No, I'll, I'll I'll let him know that that, that. Ah, yes, yes, about yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. There, was, there was something. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. One of the Zaka members wrote me after a terrible bus crash that happened. When was it? A year ago? Less than a year ago. I believe so. Yeah. And um, he was involved in in Nebuch, uh, doing what he had to do there with 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 the job that they have, Hashem mm-hmm. Yerachim, and uh, he wrote me afterwards with tears, just like the, the email was full of, uh, he said, I'm writing this with tears, how after this terrible incident, what gave me koyach to, to, to keep breathing and get back to life and, and feel like there's, there's, you know, there's, the sun will still shine, I was listening to the song, Hineni Biyotcho, very powerful, uh, wow. how this song gave him koyach to recoup and regain his, 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 his koyach after uh, that terrible tragedy. Yeah. But the, in Lamaisa, yeah, see, it's, it's it's very humbling. It's very humbling the, what what singing, music, Shira can do. It, it's incredible that uh, you know I, I go into a studio, I stand in front of a microphone, and I try to give from my from my heart and from my soul. And the reaction sometimes is is just it's incredible how people are inspired, uh, uplifted. I'm not talking about people becoming Bali Chuva, making drastic changes in their lives. Right. But even a person who is driving in his car to go pick up his kid from, from school and he hears a song and it gives him a, a smile or it gives him a, 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 a thought of chizok or it gives him, it gives him something. It's an incredible kayach. It's an incredible, incredible thing. So I don't take this for granted at all. Well, we, we, we always discuss uh, your singing being a shlichos and the maisa. That that's exactly what 100%. it is in the purest, in the purest form, right? Um, I try. I try. Yeah. Um, one, one of the songs that hit me originally, uh, yeah, let me hear. as as just something I wouldn't expect Avram Fried to sing, and mm-hmm. and came out amazing, is is track six Kapara. I mean, h- how often? I mean, I, I do remember you had uh, uh, like a Mizrahi uh, Israeli style song. I've had, I've had several of them. Yeah, that you had on Bainkach and Bainkach. You know, most right. re- most recently. But and Shari Mizrach. Shari Mizrach. Shari Mizrach. Right, but but this and by Shanim and by Shanim, by Shanim. but but mm-hmm. this, yeah. you know, when when you, when you when you put in this note, which by the way, I love that you put notes in the in the book for people who buy yeah. the album. You write, always had my eye on these words. I enjoy hearing our Sephardic brothers say this prayer in their Kaddish services, especially when they call together. Revach v'atzala, amen. I do all, the, <laughs> I do it all the time when I daven with them in Yonim. When it comes to that, I scream along with them. Revach v'atzala, you know. So it's very catchy. I always like these words. They're such. They're so. Kapara, Slicha, they all rhyme and they just flow. And um, I said, that one, one day you've got to make a song to this. So I turned to my friend and very talented composer, Yitzhi Waldner, right. who together we have Baruch Hashem uh, produced a lot of good stuff in the last two CDs. And uh, we sat down and Kapara, just uh, Kapara came out. It's... So uh, I love listening to that song. I love, I love singing it. I love that Sfardish uh, twist. And it's, again, it's another color another color of, of our music and uh, I think we have a great song here in Kapara. Yeah, speaking about color I mean you have Recalculate whoever think they would hear Avram Fried sing a song arranged in a country style about uh, setting your life back on course hmm you know it's, it's all part of creating colors you know and uh, we thought uh, Mandy Hershkowitz who arranged the song when we sat down or actually with, with Yitzhi Walden when we sat down to compose the song mm-hmm. we figured so what what genre of music will capture somebody driving in a car? <laughs> you know, how, how do you... <laughs> and we figured, you know, country, like, is the most, um, you know, driving in a car brings up country, uh, country mood. So we, we stuck with the country, country feel. And it's funny because, you know, um, you think of the word recalculate. It's not... There's, there's not that much rhyming. And, and it's a hard... It's a long word, you know. It's not a short word to mm-hmm. even pronounce and sing. Right. But it took, it took us some time to find the right uh, the right melody, but um, we we did it, and I think it's the I think it's the cutest song on the album with a great message. And um, I think it's important to remember that there's always a road to bring you home. All you need is an address, 100%. you know. And I think that's an, a, it's an amazing an amazing lesson. 
and it's an amazing uh, message of hope. I got to tell you, go home. Uh, at the end of the song, you say you've reached your destination. I don't know if you know, but for ways. They have voices you can choose now of you know popular yeah, singers. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. I didn't want to do that. I was like, I was like, does that mean Avremel's going to start doing voices now? Because I would love mm. to each, hear every time I, I, you've reached Yossi, you've reached your destination. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Interesting. <laughs> I could even sing it. Yeah, I actually uh, have a message here from a listener in Eretz Yisrael tuned in now. Yehuda Bradley, can you please tell Avram Fried that "Bring Down the House" is a fantastic song, and I love it. And I only heard it once so far this week. I also think that song. Really isn't his regular style, but it's simply amazing. Mm. You know, I think there are a few songs on this album that people will enjoy the first time mm-hmm. because they're they're easy listening and the message comes through very clearly. For instance, the first song, Am Yisrael Chai or Itcha Oni, is just a very catchy song that you can you can enjoy the first time listening. Mm-hmm. Um, playing with fire is just a catchy tune with a very very good message. People should get it the first time. Right. And um, and recalculate, just very catchy, enjoyable listening from the very first time. Some other songs need more listening, like Shari de Mois and I, I don't know. Shana. For me, Shari de Mois the first time I I fell in love with it with with the really? Sp- oh, wow. with Smiris's choir, and I like the the simple arrangement. You know, uncomplicated, very very bare because yeah. it doesn't need more than that. Yeah, it was actually interesting how really Ezrahi, who arranged the song, right, came up with this concept because you would think for such a heavy song. Like Shara de Moy is talking about tears, and uh, we more of strings or more cellos, like a more serious arrangement. Right. And he just came along and put put a whole, you know, this 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 synthy kind of a sound behind it, like with all these sounds and and things. And I think actually it it, it worked very well. It, it enhanced it, and and yeah. I like you know your your what I call chazanish stickle. I though I know you're probably gonna tell me yes, it's not chazanish, it's just singing. I'm this, not of, a course, of course, it's chazanish. It is chazanish. Of course. I, uh, it's yeah. full on Actually, um, how did I come across this piece? Uh, my, my good friend Yaakov Mutzen, who's a great chazan, um, I once heard him sing this song at a concert. And I asked him later, where's this piece from? Because it was it's only a little piece of a, of a long piece that I took out. Right. And he let me hear Label a Glance, um, who label does glance. this song. And it, yeah, chazan Label a Glance, who does this song... Uh, with with its you know in its entirety. Wow. And I just love I love this little piece and then when Charlie de Moyes came along I said, you know what? I have the same words. I can put in a little chazanas and come back to the melody. Yeah. So it just worked out worked out beautifully and people are commenting on it and uh Yeah I have I have Shimon R just commented he's, he he lives in Muncie. He's like, what's the story behind the chazanas? I go, Shimon th- there's your story. You got it. Mm. But uh, Well Freeman, people know that I do I've I've done chazanas in the past, so it's not a chiddush. No, he just he just wants um, to know where if there was something that it came from, so to speak. Right. This 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 is this is exactly how it happened. And I it w- have to thank uh, Jakob Mutzen for it. Yeah. It was actually funny. I was talking to Tzvi Silverstein the other day, and we were discussing your album, and he goes, "Yossi Kishashana, hands down, my favorite song. I don't know what it oh, is." Oh wow. He's like, "This wow. song sp- spoke to me the most from anything on the album." Mm. Well, I must tell you, Kishashana again, which which Itzi Waldner composed. Um, there's something very beautiful and and longing and and Something very beautiful about it, and uh, I've got, I'm getting a lot of comments on Kisheshana. Uh It talks about the love of the Abishta to Klal Yisrael. It's basically a love song, mm-hmm. and um, I think it just it captures that that love, that that dearness, that uh, compassion that Abishta has for his bride, for his kala, for Klal Yisrael. And I think the the song and the arrangement, and um, I think even the vocal. <laughs> Um, sort of has that longing feeling and that 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 sensation of of avas Hashem and avas Yisrael, how Hashem loves us and uh, and we love Him, and I think it comes comes through in Kushishana. It's also very, the arrangement. It's also very interesting how they took uh, Sher Shirim from Parak Ches and then from Parak Bays, but you know, same topic, right. same discussion, just hey. mamish. Same author. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But but speaking yeah. about styles, I mean, this this album literally has it all. We discussed the country, we discussed the Mizrahi, and then you have Tata Nordir, which which is like a, a klezmer throwback, and I loved it. Exactly, exactly. Again, I you know I I I'm at a point now in my in my singing, uh, I don't want to call it career, but in my shlichus, right? That I, I I'm paying more attention to colors. I, I I think it's important. I think people enjoy it, and I think that there are colors out there that can be used. In Hasidic music, you know, I'm not going to do rap, but um, 
you know, country and, and Kaparaf, Faradi, you know, that, that those work for me. And I was lucky to get uh, to get these on, on the album. Um, there's another, by the way, Yossi, I want to tell you that yes. I'm, I'm very impressed with the Oilam. You know, there's a saying, Oilam yeah. I don't I don't always agree with that saying, mm-hmm. because Hineni Biyot, I knew would be a hit. Because right. I, I loved it, and I, I knew people would love it. But to the extent that it is, you know, even they, they even surprised me. Because they know a good song when they hear it. And I, I, I truly believe that people will give the CD a listen, not just a, a peripheral listen, listen, but they'll, they'll hear it and give it a chance. I think they will, they will decide uh, the hits and the good stuff on the album, and I probably will agree with them because mm-hmm. they have good taste. Well, I got to tell you, I was uh, home for, in Montreal for second days of Pesach, and in Shul, for Kesser, they were doing Hineni Biotra. Well, Hineni Biotra just is amazing. I know, but I, just didn't, like, I didn't expect it. You know, it was like, it took me a minute, because I, I, I it took me a minute to figure out what the Valtzville was singing. But then yeah, everybody I, I, joined I, in, the entire show was singing it. It was amazing. It's incredible. And you have to take into consideration that Hineni Biotra wasn't even released on a CD. It was just all online. Yeah, digital. Digital. Right, right. right. And yet, yet the whole world is singing it. So, listen, when you have Siasa Dishmaya, things, things can happen. So, so if I can predict, I predict Halleluhu and Va'anpa are going to be the next two big uh, Hineni Biotis. That, 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 that's my prediction. Am, am I that off of Ramel or not? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I guess time Hallelujah will tell. is a great Kumzit song. Hallelujah is a great Kumzit song. Correct. And the Ampur, I think, will be a great wedding song. I love it. It's a Hasidish, a beautiful song from the from the um, Hasidim of Premish Lan. Mm-hmm. I loved it when I heard it, just like a Shmaka song. I, I truly will believe that it'll be a big um, wedding song and, and, you know, sung at Simchas. Uh, so with Sameach, I think Sameach will be a big wedding hit. I believe so too. Again, why do I take Sameach to Samach? Again, another Samach to Samach, you know, another one. But there's a chiddush here because Pinky found some words that would never apply to Sameach to Samach. A Gemara, he found a Gemara or Rashi, <laughs> someplace in Mesech to Ksubis. Ksubis, yeah. So Yivari, Hashneihem, Sheiyu Besimcha. Brand new words. Oh, brand new words. Then we can we can work with it. So and I, I, I love it. I love the way it rhymed. Baruch, Baruch Hashem, Shiva Reh. Right, exactly. I, I like that too, exactly. The play on words and the way it rhymes, mm-hmm. it, it just, it, it gives you energy that you, you just can't have, you know, can't stop at seeing, you know, Chas and Kala, you, you know, dancing, uh, Chas and dancing in front of Kala with everybody clapping and whatnot. Exactly, exactly. And I think um, of the 14 songs, you know, I stayed within the box of, of today's Hasidic music. Mm-hmm. You know, there's nothing that I would say is overly too modern or too uh, too synthesized or you know I, I kept kept my eye on that and um, I can sit back and say I, I'm very proud of this album and I I I expect that the Oilam will 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 give it a chance and love it and I'm waiting to hear the only positive positive feedback and any critic criticism I'll take it as well because <laughs> I can always learn. Well, Avramo, we always learn. We we appreciate it and definitely you know this this has been a long time coming. But 14 tracks is for sure enough to tie us over till the next album comes. Uh, I had a hard time trying to pick a song to play. I, I know, you know, right now everyone's pushing uh Ani because of its message. But uh, if, if you're going to allow it, I would like to finish our interview with playing, playing with Fire. I, I first witnessed you singing Playing With Fire at a concert years ago. And, exactly. And, you know, uh, Fire, you can touch it up as the, the fire of Tyra. You know, this fire takes you higher... If you let mm. it burn, inspire, desire, desire to what? Maybe desire to learn Tyra. Maybe Yiddishkeit. Yep. I don't know. Desire to live and learn. Desire to live to like a Yid and learn Tyra. Exactly. But but for exactly. me, for me, what did it though is, is the beginning of the song. You know mm. the way you sing it and the way the lyrics are so. You know, there's a place in your heart deep within, known as the Kodesh Hakadoshim. There's an altar mm. there with the heavenly fire burning. That's why we're always yearning. That's why we're all returning. You know, that, that message, the way you put it down, and then, of course, the, when they, they rearrange it in the middle of the song and give it a little bit more oomph, it's, it's, there's something about right. the song that just does it for me. Right. So, by the way, playing with fire, I was going to say for my English album. Oh. Uh-huh. But many, many people have said to me, so we heard the song in concert, playing with fire. Why don't you put it out? We want to hear that song. So I decided, you know what? I'm not going to put it on this one. <laughs> 
This is unusual because I, this is I have more English stuff on this album than I think on all other previous albums. It's true. It's, I mean, the yeah. truth is, with, with you, I would say ninety percent of the time, your album has an English title because of an English track. Very, very rarely was it the opposite. But usually, that right. is the only English song. And here you have three. Right. So, I'm, and I have an English, a full English song, and then like Lama Hashem, you know, why from a distance? There's English, half English, half pasuk. Right. But here, the two full English songs plus. Bring down the house, which is half English, plus, half Hebrew. Bring the house down, which has half, half English. Yeah, so it's um, a little more English than usual, but I figured people want to hear fire, so I put it on. I, I, well, I, I, as a fan who have heard this many years ago, thank you. Hmm. Even though I didn't get Yushalayim Shabalev on this album, I got playing with fire. No, no, of course not. <laughs> by the way, Yossi, yes. by the way, by yes. the way, I have three songs left to record on my Israeli album. That's wow. it. They are being arranged as we speak. So we're getting very close to that, and who knows? Within the year, we'll have an Israeli album, Mitzvah Shem. Maybe Amazing. even before, you know, Amazing. very soon. Amazing. I'm looking forward. I do want to wish you a good Yontiv in advance. Amen. Tonight, of course, and is the beginning of Shloy Shem so we're getting right. ready for Matan Taira. Exactly. Exactly. And Matan Taira is only through Simcha, because, you know, Hamisha, we have five books, right? Hamisha. Hamisha Yichom Shetayim. And Ham- right. right. And Hamisha are the same letters as Simcha. Wow. So, in order to get to Hamisha, we first have to have Simcha. So, I hope the CD will help people get into to Simcha and receive the Torah the Simcha, as we say in Chabad, the Simcha Bepnimius, with joy and with internalizing the Torah. It should become part of us. Amen. And uh, we should all meet at the mountain with, with great Simcha and uh, and uh, sing with Mashiach the song of Geula. Amen. Uh, let's bring the house down, man. Let's bring let's, the house down. Let's bring the house down together. <laughs> Avramo. Yes, thanks to you. Thanks to you for everything. My pleasure. Have a, have a great Yantiv, and I'll be in you touch too. with you a little later. Take care. Bye.